Hey guys and welcome to a new video! Yoohoo! <laughs> um, first off, sorry for being, in being inactive for two weeks. Um, I prepared some video footage before I went on my two weeks break, but uh, then I deleted some of those, so there wasn't a video for the second part of my break. And last week I filmed something and then I put my SD card on a magnet and the <laughs> video file was corrupted and that was awesome. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'm a bit nervous to be honest after such a long time making a video for you guys. Um, so yeah, I wanted to do a quick, simple, fun um, paint with me. And for this I have my trusty green tea once again. This is just standard green tea without any flavors. You know, keeping it simple sometimes. <laughs> so, grab yourself a nice tea, coffee, water, juice, or all of the above, I don't know. <laughs> and let's get started. Okay, so while I was on break, I went to Hamburg, uh, which is a town some of you might know. Um, and there is an art supply store called Gastica. And normally I have to order there and they had these uh, Claire Fontaine, um, yeah, canvases, canvas sheets. Honestly, my French is really bad, so I won't try to read the French words, but the uh, English says just canvas, um, poly cotton canvas, um, yeah. And here we have more stuff. It's not even a German explanation here. So I've never seen this before, but I thought it would be really fun and it was super cheap. It was, hmm, I don't know, a few euros. Oh, let me get something to cut it. So there you go. And you know, with all the Inktober, it's fun. It's, ooh, it's fine, but I still really miss painting somehow. Ooh, look at that, ooh. <laughs> Look at that, it's like actual uh, linen, 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 I don't know, sheets. Is it even primed? I don't know. It's 210 GSM. No, not GSM. Oh, oh yeah, it is GSM, but I don't know the, um, you know, not European weight system numbers yeah <laughs> okay um oh yeah it says it's uh 75 percent cotton and 25 percent uh polyester and it's ready to paint it says here and i'm eager to try this out but also I'm mildly afraid <laughs> so let me get this out Oh god, I'm so afraid. There you go. And well, it hmm, smells weird. I don't know. Can't quite put it, but it's fine. Okay, how do we proceed now? Hmm. <laughs> Let me quickly think of a setup and then come back to you. <laughs> Okay, I decided on two things. First up, the medium I want to use are these um, golden open acrylics. I think I've showed them to you in a video, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I have those, um, yeah, it's basically a landscape sample pack or a pack with smaller acrylics. And yeah, they are a nice mix between acrylics and oils because they take a little bit longer to dry, but not days. <laughs> and um, yeah, they're fun to use. I um, only used them two times, which is sad. And also, this is my reference. It's a photo I took from when we drove home from my grandma, I think, for my birthday. Um, yeah, and now a zip of tea and then let's go. Okay, so first off, I really quickly just want to mark where the clouds go because I tend to get um, distracted and just <laughs> do whatever and uh, yeah that sometimes is not so cool so just for me to have you know the very very rough concept down on this and I'm still a bit afraid 
to draw on this so um, or paint on this so yeah let's um, let's take a leap of faith <laughs> okay I'm going to use my trusty acrylic acrylic brushes this is a um, filbert brush that really needs to be cleaned <laughs> a flat a tiny flat um, brush uh, one with a bit longer bristles and a dagger brush which is also a bit tiny they might all be a bit, a bit tiny but I can I can size up anytime so yeah I have my mixing palette I now have two of these because my husband destroyed another mixing palette with his um, 3d printer which is nice <laughs> so yeah can I put the mixing palette more in frame maybe like this yeah okay so let's get started with just the blue I'm using the mang manganese blue hue and white which is just titanium white and I'm going in with a tiny bit of water water <laughs> water and um, yeah white and blue mixing this directly with the brush because I like it when the colors are not perfectly mixed together and then I'm going in here oh well, yeah a little bit more water now there you go that's a nice consistency all right um yeah i wanted to do a paint with me um chatting talking video because why not i also also really really need to treat myself to a uh good microphone i know i know i'm planning on this i'm working on a big commission and once i'm fully paid for this commission because i only got um, with my customers I have this deal that I get half of it before I really get started and yeah once I'm finished and they're happy I get the other half so um, I got half of it and I spend it on stuff like <laughs> this paper <laughs> and um, yeah once I get the other half I will treat myself to a good microphone I once had one I ordered it very cheap from Amazon but it was well there's this German saying, if you buy cheap, you buy twice, and this totally applied to the um, microphone I bought because it was really not good. So, there we go. Working my way around the cloud with the blue. So, yeah. What's new? What's happening in my life right now? I dyed my hair bright red. <laughs> I always do that when I'm not feeling so good and when I'm fighting myself out of a long depression phase, um, let's say. And I'm fighting right now. <laughs> I'm really, really struggling and um, I still, I'm still not over the stuff with Mino and other things happening and so um, on Saturday I was at the, well it's not really a drugstore, mm, I don't know, in Germany we say Drogerie, but um, yeah just for my German viewers. <laughs> and so I was standing there waiting for my husband um, to pick me up there, don't, don't ask, okay. <laughs> and um, while I was standing there I was browsing through the um, color section and thought you know what, I'm just going to buy red now and <laughs> dye my hair red again and um, I did on Sunday which was uh, two days ago so yeah I have posted pictures of it on my Instagram I think and on my Twitter if you want to see pictures and I really missed having red hair to be honest so there we go this is like basically our background um, sky so to speak and who also I can show you something I've seen this one um, in other stores for 40 euros and I got it for 25 which is awesome it's the, this big bucket of water with a metal whatever <laughs> you're calling this um, metal you know to uh, clean the brushes metal thingy <laughs> 
and um, the store where I got it, that was like something they couldn't really sell because they normally sell more, you know, drawing supplies than painting supplies. So the um, one of the owners, they know me because I buy there. I bought almost all my Copics there, so a lot. <laughs> and uh, I said to the owner, oh, I was searching for this one and it's super expensive in the other store. And he said, you know what? I'm giving it to you for 25. And I was like, okay. And he said, well, there's a bit of dust on it. And so you can have it. And yeah, I'm super happy with it because I didn't have a real cleaning, um, yeah, bucket cleaning something something <laughs> for a very long time and especially not for big brushes which really really grinded my gears when I had to clean brushes <laughs> and now there you see it's almost clean and it's really nice okay now I'm going to uh, to add a bit of ultramarine blue to the sky I'm just putting this here the good thing about this stuff is that it really dries very, very slowly and that I just added white to my finger. Perfect. Now I'm going in with my um, Filbert brush and taking some bloom. Maybe I could, yeah, a bit more of the other bloom maybe. Well, that was a bit too much water, but that's fine. Now I'm adding in the big cloud over here like this it's so weird to paint on this it feels like the first layer of paint doesn't even want to really apply to the now I need something to tone the blue down it's too too heavy so I'm going for the um, yeah the uh, complementary color well in this case um, I'm going for a toned down version of the complementary color, which is this alizarin crimson, and I kind of can't, I can't close the tube I wanted to say, adding just a little tiny bit so that it doesn't turn completely purple. Yeah, I think that's better, yeah, because now you can see Was there soap in this brush? Because it feels so soapy right now. But okay, anyway. Now I'm adding this with really bold strokes here. And maybe I could with this brush just blend from here. Yeah, maybe that's better. There you go. And what I like to do is, I like to just scrub the paint in here and just, you know, play around with the paint a little bit. And yeah, this brush works better. Hmm. I wonder what's with this one. All right, maybe it's, it really is too wet, but it also looks really soapy. So maybe I just didn't clean it thoroughly because I was lazy. <laughs> Um, and I didn't have a good uh, brush cleaner. <laughs> okay, so you're on timeout right now until, yeah, until later, maybe. Do you still have soap in it? No. Okay, and I will continue with this one here, taking a bit of the soapy paint <laughs> and rubbing this in. You can really blend very nicely with this acrylic. So it does almost feel like oil painting. Oh, and I could, if you want, provide, oh, I will just do it, <laughs> provide the um, the reference picture down below so you can check it out and maybe, you know, paint along. Maybe this would be fun. And now I'm just going in with, um, you know, bold strokes, blending a little bit, but first and foremost, just 
mm, you know, putting the color down where it has to be. And since acrylics is an opaque medium, I can just add more color whenever I want. But I also should get some green. This is a sap green hue. I got the set um, from a, I think, coupon when they were on sale and um, I saw... Why? <laughs> I saw many American painters using this brand and I was super curious about it and yeah, I had to try it once my store got it. <laughs> so yeah, and here I'm just going to add just a bit of green just to put it down there and remind myself that down there there's green. Maybe a bit of a little bit of crimson, a little bit of white. I'm just directly blending it on the canvas paper thingy. <laughs> and now we are officially entering the ugly state of the painting, the most dreadful part. <laughs> and um, yeah, now let's see what we can do with it. Clean our border here, cleaning the brush once again. Now you can see me putting down more paint directly from the tube, not really mixing anything too much because as I mentioned I just want to, you know, get the paint down and when I paint with other acrylics I have to be way quicker than I am now, then normally I would just go with a way bigger brush and just slam the color on there and later uh, decide about hues and whatnot. But since this is a slow drying um, acrylic, I can take my time with it, which is something I really like. So this set is especially for outdoor painters and for um, um, sketchers, um, painters, I don't know. <laughs> But um, you can also use it at home, of course. <laughs> and um, yeah, I really like this. So, I, hmm, let me think, let me think, because I can see that there's a lot more white and also some yellow. I think I'm going to use yellow ochre. Also I'm not going to copy the reference uh, one to one, it's just really merely a reference which has two reasons. First, it's more fun. <laughs> Second, I'm really bad at uh, copying references like, yeah, completely copying it. I don't know, it's just not my jam. And I just want to I remember the feeling I had uh, when I was sitting in the car and when I took the photo, it was a feeling of relief because I love my grandma very, very much, but every kind of birthday or something of hers is always very stressful for me because um, I don't like, well, they are not even my family. It's the family of her dead, um, yeah, boyfriend, you could say. Um, so he died two years ago and her, his family is still in contact with my grandma, which is nice and fine and all, but I don't really like them too much and it's always very stressful for me and um, yeah, and also there were many traffic jams, so we had to see now <laughs> when I'm thinking about it, the paint strokes start to you know, um, my subconsciousness just does the paint strokes for me. I don't have to do anything right now. Um, yeah, and it's really... They are fine. They are just a bit uh, traditional, let's say. I mean, at least they are not Nazis or anything, but you know, for example, we took the vegetarian option in the restaurant because we really didn't want to make a scene like, oh, we want something vegan, blah, blah, blah. so we just took the vegetarian option, which was fine, it was nice, and this one guy just dead ass looked us in the eye and said, well, now you can see, uh, now you can eat what my uh, cow on my uh, uh, plate won't eat anymore, and stuff like that, and then he starts laughing, and I was just like, hmm. 
<laughs> so like you're laughing because you are supposed to, but you know, it's, it's just smiling without your eyes. So, or laughing without your eyes, if you know what I mean. The kind of smile that uh, people on posters and stuff do. And yeah, need a little bit of water on my palette. And a sip of tea, of course. <laughs> And later on, um, well, we told them our dog died and stuff, and they were super sympathetic with that. But then I said, well, at least we still have the cats, and yeah, that I'm really happy for having them and stuff. And then he told us how, when he was a kid, he tortured his mother's cat so much so that the cat ran away. <laughs> and later told us that his uh, former dog, or his father's dog when he was a kid or something, um, killed a cat and <laughs> he started laughing and um, especially at the torture part he started laughing and I'm glad he didn't go into <laughs> too much detail but still it was really disturbing <laughs> and uh, yeah we were my husband and I we were really uncomfortable about that and we were just like <laughs> you know um, yeah so I remember this feeling of just being relieved that this was and my mother's my, my mother's <laughs> my grandmother's um, birthday is one day after mine and so I was super tired because I celebrated my birthday with uh, friends until well very late <laughs> and so yeah I was just relieved that this was over and just really felt good to drive home to the cats who are not tortured <laughs> and um, yeah like this cloud shape over here. I think I will just let it be. Uh, maybe I'll add some more harder shapes around here. But other than that, I think I really, really like this one. And this needs to loosen up a bit. So I'm going to add some more straight up white to it even though it does not quite look like my reference I bet if somebody of you would take my reference and paint along you would get in so much more accurate <laughs> um, painting than I do but that's fine it's just my style okay <laughs> uh, sorry I'm just teasing those people who you know excuse everything with their style <laughs> I shouldn't do that. I don't, shouldn't be salty on the internet. But, you know. <laughs> no, but mix in here a light blue with a bit of yellow ochre. Still not 100% sure on how I want to paint clouds. So far as you see, I'm just <laughs> doing whatever and see what makes me happy. Just going in with some thick straight white down here. And here, I have to see it from above. Well, not from above, but you know, from straight on because it looks a bit different on camera than it looks here. So yeah, anyway, I'm 31 now. <laughs> and this age, on one hand, it sounds super scary. I don't know because, you know, 31 is like, oof. <laughs> but on the other hand, my life currently gets in a direction I never planned or dreamed it would happen, like with my own online store and stuff, which is also very exciting. So I feel like my life is finally beginning and not ending, if you get what I mean. So yeah, I'm really happy right now. Or more like I'm trying to be happy right now. Some things are hmm, but other things are good and I'm trying to focus on the good parts. This is a nice grayish color. Yeah. And that's all I can say. I'm just, you know, focusing on what's good about my life right now and trying to. Even if it's not in the reference, I think I kind of want this color over here too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm 
I'm starting to feel the painting. Mm, but it could now very easily get into the very, very dreadful overworked state. So well, that's also a nice grayish color, but also my brush gets really dirty, so I should clean it. Mm. straight white lines here to just maybe with a little bit of yellow ochre. I said a little bit, not a lot. To just show that there's something going on here. But also it it reminds me of just driving, you know, when you when the landscape is just flying by and yeah. I really like that. And so I want to give it some swoosh <laughs> into this direction, if this makes sense. <laughs> I hope it does, so yeah. You can see I'm a self-taught artist, I have no idea about uh, the all <laughs> stuff is called. <laughs> Adding a bit more darker stuff. Blending it in with more blue. There we go. A bit white. I missed painting so much. I had such a crisis after the end of my 365 challenge. I have still yet not made a video about it and every time I talk about it I'm just really, you know, ugh, this challenge. <laughs> there were some accidental strokes of green over here that I really liked. So I'm going to add them here too because when I will cover them up with a bit more of this purplish blue because why not? And um, yeah, the challenge really I'm not sure about it. Um, after I finished it, I was like, I don't ever want to paint a landscape again. And so I didn't for two months. months. Not really. I did some, but they all turned out really shitty. And now I'm really enjoying this one. So yeah, that's really ther therapeutic <laughs> for me. Oh man, talking in English. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I did some guilty pleasure drawings for myself, like you've seen on my sketchbooks. I've drawn a lot of cartoon ducks and this really was like therapy for me. Just, you know, drawing what I love and what I'm really passionate about. And um, yeah, now coming back to this feels really like coming home. I think I'm about to enter the overwork state. So I'm going to add some more white down here and then I will not touch the sky again. Maybe just over here, blending this a bit more, but also I want some harder edges over here like that. I like this more neutral blue, so I'm going to add this here. Also, <laughs> what did I say just now? <laughs> Adding this here. Okay, now. I won't touch the sky anymore. I like the sky how it is. Okay. And now we are going for the um, ground. And there we have a mountain in the distance. Therefore I use whatever this color here is. It's a mix of everything and I add a bit more of that green. A bit more of glycerin crimson. Maybe I should wait for this to dry. Now I'm doing a one setting painting. More green, please. So there you go, that's a mountain. Over here. And then we have some. Hmm. What could you call? these and how do you get the color 
that you want. Uh, anyway, here's some greenery stuff over here. Let's just go for some like this. Maybe it's okay. The recording stopped because we are 30 minutes, and I planned to do only 30 minutes, so um, I'm on overtime now, <laughs> so to speak. And with this mixture, I'm going in here just. Roughly suggesting what's going on here. Maybe with a bit of yellow ochre. Yeah, the blue underneath is still wet, which is fine. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm going in with some yellow ochre, alizarin crimson and sap green hue <laughs> mix to get this down here. Now I'm mixing a bit of yeah, this whole mixture with white and more yellow ochre. To get this muddy greenish brownish color. And these are some grass thingies <laughs> getting down some more um, yellow, no, it's no more zap green and some more alizarin crimson. Now it's not really a mountain anymore, but just some random stuff in the foreground, which is fine by me. I'm never really good at drawing what's on the ground. I don't know. I'm just... Once I'm happy with the sky, I just want to leave it there, but also I need something to anchor it. Like, you know? <laughs> Maybe I could just blend this out here a little bit. And then go for... some more strokes like this. Wow, well, my brush is full of every color, <laughs> but that's also fine. Sorry if my head is in the way. So this way, the weight of this goes down here and they kind of meet there. Is that a good composition? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it like that. I like it. I like it. And yeah, it's a half an hour one brush painting. So that was fun. I haven't done those uh, since, yeah, since I finished my challenge. So let me quickly just sign it with a smaller brush. <laughs> That's still not small enough, but it's fine. It's fine. Maybe I could just, you know, get a bit more action down here with the color I just mixed. <laughs> and now I'm asking myself if I could blow dry it to peel off the um, paint. No, not paint, the adhesive. Okay, here we go. It's still a bit wet, so... Um, ooh, also the table is wet. <laughs> okay, I have to be careful. Um, this was a lot of fun. It was really cool to paint with the surface and um, yeah, 
I kind of want to do another one, but not now. And it was also really nice to paint something I'm really happy with once again. So, um, I don't know, maybe I will just, you know, maybe I'm just brave and I will tell you that you can get this as a print in my shop right now. So yeah, if you like this piece, you can get it as a print. Or maybe I will even give you the original, but I'm not sure how to... How people should frame this, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. I will keep the original for now because I, oopsie, I also really like it. Anyway, um, yeah, check out my online shop or my Etsy for prints of this or other paintings I did in the past. And um, yeah, I will speak to you again next week and hopefully with a haul video because I know you guys really like those. And I once again <laughs> spent some money. It's, it was money for my birthday, okay? <laughs> so yeah. And until then, I speak to you again next week and yeah, see you then. <laughs> bye bye.